me, but we are at a Vista Point for Mount Shasta, which is about like three, three and a half hours from um, where we left in Ione. And we stopped and had sandwiches. We realized one of the last times we went on a road trip, instead of like stopping for lunch, we go, like we just, we just bring sandwich fixings and then we make a sandwich. And it's really, really good and delicious and satisfying because we can go to beautiful places kind of like this. Hey.
How you like your space? It's cute. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. Super cute. So this is the kitchen. They got a very cute little wannabe smeg fridge, which I love. And a little toaster oven. Like, honestly, you don't really, unless you're doing Thanksgiving, you don't really need much more than a toaster oven, you know? Um, they got a Keurig. This is a cute little dining set, which is like a full blown table. So it's kind of cool. You're sitting on a very comfortable couch here. I brought the fall candle so we can set the mood. They got a cool swivel TV. You don't see that often, you know? So you could be in here and watch TV or in here. And then you have the beautiful bed room area, which you know what I love? I love these, um, they're like more so for pictures, but they, they can work really well too as um, like a nightstand if you don't really have the area for it. And they have your little situation over here. And then they have a the bathroom in here. Pretty cute, kind of standard. What I think they should have done in here was put the tub over here because they're losing about like six inches right here and because of the light switch and they wouldn't have lost it over there and it's kind of a small shower, but they did a really good job. She really likes Target, Magnolia Line. I'm here, okay. They're good. And hopefully there's a view out there. But we won't know until tomorrow. Yes, we will find out tomorrow. What's for dinner? I have one pizza. Good morning. We are in our Airbnb, as you can see here. But today, and we're staying in Vancouver, Washington, which is just across the river from Portland. And it is rainy today, which is very exciting and cozy, so I can wear all my new sweaters. But we are going to go to breakfast at this place called Syrup Trap right along the water on Main Street. And then I don't really know what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to Seattle tomorrow, but, oh, we are gonna go to Halloween Town today, which is very exciting. I think it's actually called St. Helens, like it's a town, but that's where they filmed Halloween Town, like a little courtyard area. And because I'm a 90s baby, I grew up with Halloween Town and I wanna go see it. So we're gonna go see it and we're gonna go eat some breakfast. So this is downtown Vancouver. It's kind of wet, but it's warm still. Walk around with a t-shirt. Yeah. Like once the day gets going, it's oh. Almost shelter slash weed area. Mm -hmm. Smells like a swisher. Okay. 
300D. I kind of want one of these, but I'm used to my Toyotas. What did you think about downtown Vancouver? It was very cute. The houses were super cute, but they were mainly all like um, building, like uh, businesses. But it was really cute. I liked it. The farmers market. The flowers are like incredible, exotic flowers, and the bouquets are like only twenty dollars. And it's like if you're from, if you go to California and try to buy that, you're gonna be spending at least like thirty, forty bucks on that. Use the okay. two lanes to turn left onto the I five. I live here though. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty nice. I mean, today it's nice. That's right. I don't know about it. like every single day if it. Well, I mean, every single day. Where we live. It's like 115 sometimes where we live. Like, no birth perfect, you know? That's true. You gotta appreciate its beauty, particularly how green it is here. Yeah. And how much foliage. Yeah, it's nice. It's pretty, for sure. Yeah. I'd be getting lots of good bouquets from you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's a lot of, uh, like, the stuff on the, uh, right on the river was pretty, like, high class, it seemed like, houses-wise, but once you get away from the river, it's right. a little bit lower end. Yeah, not, not super nice. Yeah. Which is alright, you know. Maybe but man, alive. like, the trees and the, the railroad tracks and all the, being close to the water, it's, like, really cool. We came through Portland to get here, but we're gonna go north. It's like five minutes longer, but we get to go on a road we haven't been on yet, so. Forget a bridge. Yeah, another bridge. Yeah. Lots of bridges around here. Yeah. Lots of bridges. And now it's we're gonna go find some food. Yeah, I don't know. There's uh, I don't, I don't wanna go to like the local brewery and just pay 50 bucks again, so. I don't know, we have leftovers at the Airbnb, so maybe. We'll see if we see something on the way. Yeah, we're gonna go right somewhere to the airport, that's for sure. But, but also we have leftovers. I literally have three, two tiny pieces of pizza. I have four pieces of pizza. Oh yeah, well, we'll see what we find. It's been raining on and off all day, which is nice. But not too much rain. Yeah, it's like, it just rains for a couple minutes. Not creepy at Not all. Not Different place, you know. Mm -hmm. This is where I like to be able to take walks in places like this, you know. Mm -hmm. So, we just got out of Mount St. Helens, Oregon. I went there to visit the Halloween town, um, their little like Halloween festivities. But I think this is the first year they started charging tickets and they were all sold out and it was like $45 for a ticket and all you like all I really wanted to do is just like see where the courthouse was so we ended up being able to do that anyways but 
we pulled over on the side of the highway because there's this really cool walking trail. Um, we saw this like tunnel underneath the railroad tracks and we pulled over and it's amazing. It is seriously like, like I don't even know if you can see that. It's just like, if you think Pacific Northwest, like at least for me, this is what I think. You know what I'm saying? It's so gorgeous. Taylor's trying to be like an adventure man. But anyways, I think tonight we're gonna walk along Vancouver's waterfront and go to a place called Amoro's because our the host for our Airbnb recommended it and she said it was delicious. So, yes, I will see you at the waterfront. Please cover up a Honda. Oh, that's nice. Anyways, so this is the tunnel. And that leads out to the highway. Vancouver waterfront. <laughs> There's a mouse right there. What? There's a mouse right down there on the rock. I like to train. Yeah, you do. Okay, we're at our Airbnb, but um, last night I was feeling the car shaking a little bit and pulling to the left. And I was looking at the left front tire and it has a little bulge in it. I'm gonna try to change the tire. And... Probably better to have the other tire on it than drive with it that flat. Good morning. It is day number two. So Sunday, we actually leave tomorrow. We're only here for like a short while. But we are going to Seattle today. Are you excited? 
Yes. Yes. Um, however, we did find that our car, the one of the tires was um, what was it? Defective. Defective. So we have to put a different tire on it and we need to go put air in the spare tire. So we'll be leaving soon, but very exciting. I cannot wait. I've always wanted to go to Seattle and this is like a little bit of a bucket list. So we'll see you there. So we're going to the gas station because the spare tire was flat, but you can see like if I let go of the wheel, it goes left and the steering wheel is shaking a little bit. I don't know how well you can see that. Hopefully, get air in the spare tire, it'll solve both of those problems, the pulling left and the shaking. Okay, new tire on. No more vibration. Wow, no more pulling to the left. Now it's almost going to the right. <laughs> that solved all of it. That's crazy. So I felt that vibration like probably when I bought it, but it was not bad. But then it's probably just less like driving, what, how many miles? We probably put on 800, 900 miles in the past two days, so. It's probably just all that freeway driving high speed, like heated up the tire and made it a little bit worse. But I'm glad we changed it before it blew out on the freeway. Me too. That would not have been fun, especially with all the rain. We're going to Seattle now. Woo! Maybe. How was it? It was great. We got some yeah. red flowers. We got 
got some good pizza, huh? Reminder that under Washington state law, you are required to keep your mask on inside the elevator and refrain from talking until we reach our destination. If you have any questions, our team members of the Upper Atmos will be happy to answer them for you. As we ascend to the Upper Atmos, we're happy to tell you that our outdoor elevators are on 100% fresh air in our 41 second trip to the top. This is our Puget Sound elevator, which faces west towards Elliott Bay, our gate. <laughs> Hello, good evening. So, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing Seattle yesterday. We had a very great time. It's a little bit short, but still very, very fun. Um, we drove home today, so we just got back into town and we left about 8 30 from Vancouver, Washington. It's 7 30 now. So, it's been a long day, and Taylor got to sleep most of the way. <laughs> um, anyways, so we just picked up some sushi and then we're still about 45 minutes away from our house and uh, yeah, so we're going to drive back right now. As you can see. So we're going to drive back home, eat our sushi, probably go to bed and then we have a busy day tomorrow. We both have to work so it will be kind of exciting. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I had such a good time in Seattle and I love just making these videos uh, about like my travels because it's kind of, they're almost like little memories for me. You know, I can look back and remember what a fun time I had and kind of like almost romanticize it by putting music to it and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed our little trip up to the PNW and I will see you in a couple of weeks for New Orleans.